lot of honking. I still love my tree of life sits prominently on our fireplace mantle. Well, thank you. Thank you. We love hearing that. Oh, thanks for the heart. Thanks for the roses. We love you back. Hey, Jerry. Um, if you're talking about the lens. He got lucky years ago, found this one on eBay, but you can look up uh, solar concentrators or Fresnel lenses. Talking about the art. Encouragement from Taiwan. Thank you. Sorry, we know it's loud down here on Broadway. But it gets good sun. <laughs> the yeah, the lens is a Fresnel lens. But you can use smaller ones too. These big ones are going to be kind of expensive.
support our work created with heart. Aw, thank you. Used to work like that when I was a kid. Yep, you can use a magnifying glass. <clears throat> a giant magnifying glass made out of acrylic and I mean obviously the bigger the lens the more sunlight you're concentrating so the hotter the focal point and the faster you can burn if I had a small lens I'd still be on this second circle sideways and watch the light move into a vortex oh yeah just a slight change in the angle really changes the focal point This is impressive. Thank you. Very cool. Thanks. hypnotic sometimes. used to burn leaves and sticks with a magnifying glass in this second Awesome. Yeah, these lenses have been around for a while. Still 
studied the history of when these lenses right here were actually created. Never thought to make heart. Sweet, thanks for sharing. Well, thanks. You're welcome. And no, actually, the lens does not get hot in his hands because the light passes through. There's no resistance to the heat. Mainly what we experience is heat is really just resistance. So it really shows you how hot the sun is. It's a 2,000 degree focal point with this lens. That's why it uh, instantaneously combusts. And that's why he calls it solar combustion arc. I've also used solar's mountain top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It will light all kinds of things. Wow, so awesome. Love this. Thanks. We had a lot of rain and clouds all last week. This week's supposed to be really nice. Oh, love you back, India Art. I think it's so bright out here. I scrolled for 45 minutes looking for a live. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. They were able to help. I know how it is. Then all of a sudden your lunch break is over and you haven't seen anything really cool. Oh wow, there's like a little cloud right over it. Super noisy. Super sunny. Get some seriously random circles going now. <laughs> about a pound and a half. Is that right? Yeah. If it was actually made out of glass, it would be a lot heavier. It weigh about eight pounds, I bet. Looks like it still might give you a workout. Oh yeah, anytime you're holding anything out away from your body like that. He practiced a lot of uh, Aikido, did a lot of backpacking. Doing a lot of Qigong, standing and holding the ball. So. It's kind of built for this. 
beautiful. It's made of like a polyacrylic, kind of like a plexiglass material. I call it optical acrylic. Love his art. Thank you. It was completely and perfectly clear at one point in time, but it's starting to get some age on it now. has grooves in it like a record which allows for it to not be rounded like a glass lens. So this is glass it would be shaped like this. They said it's flat and each one of the little grooves that she was mentioning is the pitch of a piece of glass that's shaped like this. So each one of those grooves has a slightly different angle to it. Um, yes it will definitely hurt your eyes so he always wears welding glasses. So if you're thinking about doing this, please wear welding glasses, regular sunglasses. We're gonna... You know, I'm not sure what he's gonna do in the circles. He's got other pieces with circles inside circles. He's got pieces of kind of have an idea spheres with different pictures in them. Little mini landscapes is what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. I actually carry a small magnifier as a fire starter tool on my backpack. Yeah, as long as you have a little bit of sun. He impressed me our first summer together. We went backpacking and he had one, a little lens that he started a little camping fire and made popcorn for us while we were backpacking. A man wells and I'm learning, so I'd love to try this. Wow. Make sure you wear welding glasses. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. He has even bigger lenses than this one. I'm a survival course survivor and fire making is huge. Awesome, we love watching Alone, Naked and Afraid. David West on YouTube. Yeah, makes, that one he's guy He's the best YouTube. fire guy. David West makes a fire every day. Posts it on YouTube. And then what's the primitive guy? What's primitive technology. Primitive technology. Jason Plant. It wasn't by choice. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, you must be all right at it because you're still here. Will solar eclipse glasses work? They are too dark. Yeah, those might be a little too dark. You won't be able to see anything you're doing. You might be able to see the focal dot, but that's all you'll be able to see and you'll just be making random marks in the darkness. I, wear, I recommend at least a number five welding glass. Uh, I wear a particular brand that has uh, UVA, B, C, and infrared coating. We should have some of those on the website here soon. I have a bunch of them that are for sale. I just haven't posted them on the website yet. Oh, it does. If you like the smell of burning wood, it totally smells good. Zoned out for a minute. I do art as therapy for myself. Awesome. It is excellent therapy. Holy shit, that's cool. Thank you. 
the snow is gonna look so cool. Thank you so much. Hey there. These are epic. Thanks so much. It'll be on the website here when it's all done. Solarcombustion.art. Car guy. Checked you out, but he's got to go back to work. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing today? really get in the way of it like it's only it only burns right there every time I ever burn myself I was like doing something stupid like holding a piece of wood trying to how much did it cost you uh, these lenses are here about 400 bucks now I got lucky oh got we're all janky we are all janky for a second guys it is like me too. Really, really spotty. Till we meet again. I think traffic really affects the uh, connectivity sometimes, and all the businesses using stuff. I think it's cell phone. I think it's sick on pressure. As soon as he stopped next to you, it was like when it janky up. Because probably his cell phone was like putting off yeah. signal. We tried everything to make it better. But... I revisit the uh, plugging it in thing. Make sure it actually stays plugged in. Pretty much a big magnifying glass called a Fresnel lens. Brilliant idea. Thanks. This is so cool. Thank you much. It's the coolest 2,000 degrees ever. Combustion.art. Soon it will have welding glasses for sale. We just uh, we put like 21 new pieces on here recently. We're down to 20 new pieces. Yeah. That's right, 20 new pieces now. Just shipped one off today. Woohoo! Yeah, no power needed. You just, uh, the sky has to cooperate. Last week it did not. But we're back today. It's a 
beautiful day today. Actually impressive. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I got an Anderson phone. Ah, he's getting you. Probably, probably trying to get me back for burning his buddy by accident. Your buddy jumped up into the plane, man. I didn't mean to burn him. Looking cool. Trying to get there now. Trying to decide what I'm going to do with these circles yet. Kind of had an idea in the beginning, but now I'm kind of just waiting for the for the answer. Could you just use any kind of wood for this? Yep, you sure can. Some burns better than others, but yeah. With this large of a lens, pretty much anything a burn. Even bricks, no melt. He's burned on end tables, coffee tables, kitchen tables, chairs. If it's laminated, it's going to smell really bad and the fumes are toxic. So I'd recommend not burning on anything that's been clear coated or something of that nature. Don't want to burn painted wood or finished wood. We'll burn it. It just is horrible. I know because I have burned it in the past. Thank you.
day. Making people's day. Yeah. Wow, loving the art today. Amazing. Thank you. It's getting pretty good now. Starts to get a lot of depth in more circles like that. This one becomes fun because it's almost impossible to count all these circles. It's fun watching you make the little circles. They didn't even look back. They're lost, not mine. Those little circles really add something. Thank you. You start to bring that depth in there. I just do a whole bunch of circles. Just keep doing circles until I feel like it's filled up to the right range. And I might color them off. Colors the rainbow. This is so cool. Thanks. Holy cow, this is amazing. Thank you. Thanks. Interesting stuff. Thank you much. Oh my gosh, is that same as Pac-Man? We've been talking about how that was one of the best arcade games in the 80s ever. Oh, it was my personal favorite. Oh. Oh, it was supposed to be super sunny today. Your favorite? <laughs> She went faster than regular old Pac-Man. Where are y'all located? And does he sell his art? Yes, we are in Louisville, Kentucky. We have our own art gallery and shop, the Sun Shop. And we also ship through our website, solarcombustion.art. We actually just uploaded some new pieces. Solarcombustion.art. 
Campbellsville. Oh, Campbellsville. Well, hey there. You know, we actually just shipped a piece last week somewhere in Kentucky for the first time. And then today to Arizona. He is capturing sunlight in the lens and focusing it into a 2,000 degree focal point. Hey, New York. Louisville is such a pretty area. Thanks. Been here my whole life. Got a few other places, but this is alright. Home is where your heart is. St. Louis. I went to St. Louis. The city museum is awesome. Went up in the arch somehow. I'm very claustrophobic. I'm very proud of myself for doing that. Never do it again though. Yes, love what you guys do. Thank you so much. We love you back. Thank you everybody for hanging out on the street corner with us. I used to do a lot of street art and I refer to this as the digital street art corner. Does he ever make small pieces? Yes. yes. I'm in Rhode Island. I know it can be pricey to ship larger pieces. Yeah, and all the pieces on the website include all the taxes and shipping and handling. So there's no surprise fees. Solarcombustion.art. All the pieces have the sizes listed. We uh, a few more clouds in the sky at the moment. I'm getting there though. We'll pick up a bunch of side tables later today. I'm excited about getting ten side tables today. Yeah, so we'll be burning those in the future. Excited about. Hey, man. Been all right today. a couple weeks period of time everybody we, we met on uh, the street and everybody was either a Ricky or a Jason. Yeah. Here it comes again. It's back. Y'all should definitely make a collaborative piece with both of your art styles in one. Yeah, we've heard that a few times. We might in the future. You never know. This is seriously so cool. Amazing work. I love this. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. It's warming up.
Where do I get one of those your husband's holding in his hand? It is called a Fresnel lens. You can try just uh, Googling that. <laughs> 10,000 likes anyway. It's a magnifying sheet to make art with. The most important thing is to wear eye protection and not just sunglasses, but real life welding glasses. Yeah, you can really damage your uh, eyes doing this if you're not careful. There's a, a guy I know that lives in Montana, a Facebook friend of mine that was blind in one eye now from it. Not a joke. It really is. Uh... And you got to store your lenses in a box or something when you're not using them, because you know you might have them in the shade uh, at noon. You go in and eat lunch, and you come out and you're setting your fence on fire because the sun moves. But it's. And you can use smaller lenses too, but the big ones, I mean, they're obviously going to burn faster. I'm capturing more light energy this way than I would if I had a smaller lens. And I started with even bigger lenses when I first started making art. So, I've actually shrunk down over the years. And he uses smaller lenses to sign and date them and make the finer lines. But he really likes to go as far as he can with the bigger ones. Try to push as much as I can with technique. It's taken a long time to get to where I can draw a circle this small with this lens. That's mostly about just the way I, I rotate the focal point just by moving the lens itself. Instead of moving the whole lens, I move the lens in a different pattern. So a lot of it's just technique. Just finding that really precise angle in relation to the sun. And understanding how to manipulate it. And no, you can't point it at people. <laughs> it only works right there where the focal point is concentrated. I always say there's no smiting your enemies this way, really. Unless you can get them to sit somewhere very specific. <laughs> oh, really getting there, putting them behind me. Putting them behind the cloud line is really starting to the next thing. This is so cool. You know, we've had a few videos get a few million views and we've gotten people trying to represent us and whatnot. But we've also encountered a lot of scams and I just don't know. Maybe one day we'll be famous. If not, we'll be famous-ish. <laughs> For a magazine Does that later. mean I love you, Sun Man? Wow, I love you back. Oh, I need to put this umbrella up over my phone. It's heating up. It's heating up. Yeah, I've been out here for 45 minutes. So he's been uh, working on this piece for just 45 minutes. That's a good sized piece right there. Brighten up a few people's days. That's kind of a dream come true for us. Yeah. We sell some pieces and make a little money along the way. That's awesome too. Just paying your bills is nice. <laughs> Going out to eat tacos is nice.
we took a gamble this year and opened up our own art gallery so we'll just see what happens next We'll have a good time, whatever it is. We always lack a lot. We're doing okay. So thanks for all the likes and shares and kind words and just hanging out for a few moments. Let's share this for the great success of the Aww. Appreciate it, man. You're still hanging out. Thank you. Nice. We got a few fans out there around the world. Community chilling, distraction, and AM. Yeah. The good stuff. Maybe trade a little art for food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He calls me big hungry for a reason. She's already thinking about food again. I'm totally thinking about food. Epic, 
sweet. Yeah, we're gonna look into all kinds of them. And visit some art friends along the way. Leaf near Asheville. And any art shows we go to, if it's outside and it's sunny, he, he does his thing. It helps to be flexible. <laughs> so very cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Looking good, husband. There's a lot of standing around and looking at it. This one's going to be where we're... For every extra circle I make, I have to make another 100 circles. Patience, yes. He's been doing this for 14 years. He's been messing around with the lenses for 16. But originally, he was just obsessed with solar experiments. so quick yeah that's why he likes to call it solar combustion art we've been out here just under an hour he'll put a little more time into this he'll clear coat it he might even paint it first before it's up on the website i might do a bunch of individual colors for each one of these spheres I haven't made my mind up yet. It looks pretty good as it is though. Do you think you're about done? I think I'm just about done with this for now. Cool. I think it's about break time on this I'm one. I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks for hanging out. We love you. Don't forget to wear welding glasses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep it sunny out there.